hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll be comparing two popular budget smartphones a techno spark 30c and the newly released redmi 14c um they both have cc in common which is something quite similar and also they both come with a price range of about 90 dollars which is about 140,000 naira. but how do they really stack up guys let's find out Starting with unboxing, both devices came with complete accessories in the box, which is the phone itself, a TPU case, charging cable, 18 watts charging brick for the Techno Spark 30C, and a 33 watts charging brick for the Redmi 14C. But the Techno Spark 30C added an earpiece in the box, which gives it an advantage in this category. For design and build quality, both phones offers a plastic frame but the finishes are different. The Techno Spark 30C is slim and lightweight, making it easy to handle with one hand. It has a plastic bag that feels premium and what stands out is the triple camera ring design. It also has an infrared remote which Redmi decided to omit this time. While the Redmi 14C is bulky and heavy, weighing about 211 grams, making it heavy to use with one hand. The plastic bag has a silicone polymer finish giving it a matte feel and making it more durable but not as lightweight. The big camera rings on the back though feels like overkill especially when paired with just a 50 megapixel camera. So if you prefer a lighter more compact phone, the Tenus Pack 30C is the winner in terms of ergonomics. However, if you want durability and don't mind the extra bulk, the Redmi 14C might be your pick. The Tenus Pack 30C comes with a 6.67 inch display with a 720p resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate. It also has a 540 nits of brightness, which is decent for outdoor use. The overall view experience is average, but the 120Hz refresh rate makes scrolling smoother. While on the Redmi 14C, it has a larger 6.88 inch test job display with the same 720p resolution. The 120 refresh rate is great for fluidity, but the outdated test job design in 2024 feels like a step backward. The large display doesn't do justice to video content, as the 720p resolution feels underwhelming on such a big screen and it has just 500 nits peak brightness for outdoor use. So in terms of display, both phones offer similar specs but the Tecno Spark 30C smaller display with better bezel management and brighter nits edge out the Redmi 14C in this category. Yeah, the Tecno Spark 30C has a 50 megapixel main camera setup that performs decently, especially outdoors. Selfie on the 8 megapixel front camera are nice for its price, retaining natural skin tone, especially under good lighting. For the Redmi 14C, it also boosts of a 50 megapixel main camera but fails to impress. The pictures don't pop as much and it takes multiple shots to get one good picture. Selfie on the 30 megapixel front camera are grainy and don't actually capture skin tone. To that regard, the Techno Spark 30C takes the win here, offering a more consistent and vibrant camera performance for both the main and selfie cameras. The Techno Spark 30C is equipped with dual DTS speakers, offering a clear and rich audio experience. It's loud and more defined than what you typically hear from a budget smartphone. On the other hand, the Redmi 14C has a mono speaker and unfortunately, it sounds terrible. You will notice poor sound quality and even at max volume, the audio lacks depth. So to my verdict, if you care about audio a lot, the Dennis Pack 30C is a leap ahead with the dual DTS speakers. For performance, the Dennis Pack 30C is powered with the MediaTek Helio G81, which is enough for day-to-day tax, but not meant for heavy gaming. It comes with a 4GB of RAM, expandable to 8GB 
and a 128 gig of internal storage with room for expansion. The Techno High AOS skin on it is good, offering features like a loud voice assistant and an area blaster. While the Redmi 14C also runs on the same MediaTek Helio G81 processor, which handles daily tasks well, but struggles with heavy apps and gaming as the Techno Spark 30C. It comes with 8GB of RAM, expandable to 16GB, so multitasking is smoother. However, the Hyper OS skin feels more refined than that of the Techno Spark 30C. So I would say both device offers decent level of performance, it's a tie in this category. For battery, the Techno Spark 30C offers a 5000mAh battery that supports 18 watts fast charging. You can easily get through a day and a half on moderate use, but charging time takes longer due to its low wattage. On the other hand, the Redmi 14C comes with a bigger 5160mAh battery capacity which lasts about 2 days, however, it only supports 18 watts charger as well, even though it was shipped with a 33 watts fast charger in the box, which feels like an overkill. So on my verdict, the Redmi 14C edges out with large battery capacity, but both devices share the same low 18 watts charging support. In conclusion, both phones offers good value for around $90, which is about 140,000 Naira, but each comes with its own strength. If you're looking for a lightweight device with better sound quality, consistent camera performance, and a decent day-to-day -day usage, a Tenos Pack TTC is your best pick. While on the other hand, if you prefer a larger display and a longer battery life, then the Ring 14 c is worth considering, though it has some drawbacks like the mono speakers and the less impressive camera. Ultimately, the Tecno Spark 30C comes out slightly ahead for its better rounded features, especially at this price point. Thanks for watching. If you found this comparison helpful, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Till next time, bye and bye.